happy to say that we have once again put together a stellar event. But before we get started, I'd like to just make a, a few introductions. First and foremost, this young man to my right, my little brother, Robert Diaz, the CEO of Havoc Promotion. Stand on up and say something. Um, we always excited before one of our shows because um, everything's going according to plan. You know, fighters are fighting, which is our mission. Um, we got LV for another main event. As you all know, last main event was a fiasco. We know why. But um, also we got we got a, a cruiserweight we signed. We're looking forward to bringing him out. He's a uh, Santander Silgado. He's 18 and 0, 16 knockouts, real knockout artist. Um, we're looking to do big things with him. All tickets are still fifty dollars, so. You know, it's affordable for everyone to come down, fill the seats, enjoy the show. Uh, we pretty much uh, going with everything we, we have planned from the beginning. Uh, we got fighters calling us to come participate in our shows. We're looking to do way more shows per year due to all the fighters we have at our disposal. And... Uh, Again, you know, fighters don't have to sign us. That's why everyone's coming to us. We just want to put on good shows, have good fights, and uh, give all the fighters opportunities to fight. And um, as Andre said, we got a good show planned for you guys. Uh, we got a great bunch of guys participating, and uh, I'll let Andre introduce them. Thank you. And to my left, uh, this, this young man, who happens to be uh, one of New York's finest. I've known him so long, he, he, he just cannot be part of my family. And that's how I treat him. I treat him like he is my little brother. One of the best young matchmakers coming up in the business. Mark my words, I told him this the other night. In 10 years, we're going to make Felipe Gomez a candidate for the Hall of Fame with his matchmaking abilities in 10 years. I'm going to have him stand up and say a few words. My little bro, Felipe Gomez. Hello, everyone. Felipe Gomez, a former boxer, former trainer, former manager, now matchmaker, and uh, hopefully someday a promoter, along with Havoc. Um, and it's been a pleasure working. They was actually the one that opened the door for me. They uh, asked me to become their matchmaker. And I believe that in order for you to be a good matchmaker, you needed to be a fighter, you know, and because uh, I know what, what a fighter could take, I know what a fighter could do, I know the, you know, everything comes with experience. So um, I've been on, I had the, uh, the, uh, I've been honored to work for, for Havoc, and uh, I, from working with Havoc, I, I've been getting numerous calls from different promoters that wants me to work for them. But um, you know, I'm here and I'm looking to just put on a good show for Havoc and. Uh, I'm sure that it's going to be another great show. So far they've done two, and I have the pleasure to be the matchmaker for them two cards. And this one should be even better. Uh, the more shows that Havoc does, the better it gets. And I'm telling you right now, this show coming, it's going to be a, it's going to be a great show. It's going to be an exciting fight. So uh, looking forward to everybody being there. And uh, thanks to uh, Rob, thanks to Andre. You know, I'm, I'm excited to be with you. And the other thing is I love pizza. <laughs> so. Uh, but to get on to what we came here to do, I want to introduce you to some of the athletes that will be participating. And I'm going to start at the top with our main event. This young man, without saying, is one of my favorite fighters and one of my favorite people. He's never let me down whenever I've asked him for anything. He was the main event on our last card, and he came to box. Unfortunately, his opponent did. <laughs> but he's back again to shine, and I'm going to have him come up here and say a few words to you. The incomparable Elvin Mariki. So, guys, uh, I just want to thank Coach Andre and Robert and the matchmaker. Actually, the last time I felt like I was married with him because <laughs> I talked to him so much in the last fight, and finally we got somebody. 
really fighting. Uh, I just want to say, listen, I love, I love, the, I love fighting. Uh, do I, do I, can I make it without fighting? Yes, I can make it without fighting. But I just love winning. I love fighting, and I think, I think that I have the ability one day to be a world champion when uh, I get a chance to fight for a title. And hopefully, they don't, you know. Hopefully I get a stoppage or something so they don't have to rob me. I feel like I haven't lost since 2004, really, but uh, things don't go sometimes your way. Uh, and last time he said the same thing, and I'm saying the same thing. Uh, I came to fight, but the opponent didn't come. He came to survive, so I couldn't really give a good fight because of the opponent. When the opponents come to survive, it's just hard to give a good fight. Um, but April 2nd, I promise you that I will come and better shape that I came the last time and I promise you guys that you guys are gonna have a good fight and you guys are gonna enjoy it. I know I know that everybody knows I come to fight all the time. So the same thing I'm gonna do the same thing in April second. I'm gonna come to fight and I'm looking forward I don't know who I'm fighting yet but I'm looking forward to a good fight, tough fight. And I'll let my hand go. Thank you guys. And that's one of the reasons why I really love Elvia because it don't matter. Whoever steps in the ring with him is going to have to deal with him. He's one of a kind. Our co-main event. This young man I've known for a very, very long time. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of young fighters call me Uncle Dre. He has a reason to because he's just like my nephew. This will be his first co-main event and of course not his last as he builds to be in a main event attraction. Without further ado, Joel Castillo, come on up and say hello. Yeah! How y'all doing? My name is Joel Castillo. Looking forward to this April 2nd show. I want to give thanks to Rob Diaz, my brother, my uncle, and Felipe Gomez. Um, also, I'd like to thank Anthony and Alvia. Have my cousin Charles at the show also. Um, I've been training hard for quite a while now and I'm planning to give y'all the best show, give y'all my all. Have a lot of people coming out to support me. April 2nd, I want to give thanks to God also for giving me the next day. And um, I'm just looking for, for a good show, good match. And um, it's my first co main event and just looking forward to the future. Keep growing and making progress. I want to thank y'all for being here and supporting me also. Thanks. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Now we're going to drop down to the undercard. I'm going to start with a young man who has to get to the gym, so I want him to come up early. This young man, I've seen him. A bunch of people here look like they need to get to the gym. <laughs> 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 no fights before the fights. <laughs> this young man I've seen in, in many places, and now I, it's come to my attention that he's working with uh, Anthony, which, which is a major plus for him, and he'll be on our card, which is a second plus for him. So he does have to get to the gym. Everybody else has worked out, so I'm going to ask him to come on up and say a few words. He's introducing himself to you guys. Elton Harris. Say thank God for this opportunity. And, um, the promoters and the handlers. And the speak up, speak up, speak up. Oh, I just, say. Speak I up. just appreciate you guys putting me on this show. Um, April 2nd, I'm going to show up to fight, show up to win, give the people their money's worth. The fighters here, good luck, God, God bless. bless. All right. Our next undercard fighter. Uh, is boxing at 154 pounds. He uh, started training at our gym recently and I've really come to just like his character, his dedication to his craft, and his entire attitude about boxing. I think you're going to see a fantastic uh, performance out of him on April 2nd. So I'm going to ask Frankie Galazza to come on up and say a few Hello, everyone. Um, it's 
my first time actually being on the Havoc uh, show. I mean, I've seen a lot of promotion about it. I see shorts everywhere. I actually have a pair of it. Um, I mean, it's a great pleasure. It's an honor. I've been working with Dre and everyone from uh, Coney Island Gym. It's an amazing gym. I mean, I get the best work there right now. And um, I'm looking forward to be on more of the cards. And um, I guarantee you guys are going to see a great fight. With, not with just me, but with everybody that's a part of it. And uh, thanks again, Dre, for the opportunity to be able to perform on this car. Thank you. Okay. Now, our last, our last boxer who is here today is family. He's one of my nephews. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but Curtis Stevens, Anthony Irons, Charles Vanderveer are my boys. I brought them up from the very beginning of their boxing careers as amateurs. The first punches they threw, they threw under my tutelage, and now they are all professionals. Uh, Charles was away from us for a minute. He had to restructure his life, and I hold no punches because I know he'll be a better man for what he's done and what he has gone through. We're happy to have him back. We called him the Cracker Jack because he was like a little holy feel in the ring. You'll all get to see that on April 2nd, and I guarantee you, you will see something very exciting on April 2nd. I'm going to call him right up. Come on up, nephew, Charles Vanderbilt. Yeah! Come on. Uh, how y'all all doing? Um, let's feel good to be back, doing my thing, training hard, working hard every day in the gym. Um, I'm going to give y'all a spectacular show. I'll come to put in the work and, you know, have a good show. Um, all I can say is April 2nd, just be there to see me. Charles, and everybody there. Tell us about your amateur background. You have a, you have a Golden Glove background? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have Golden Gloves, Upstate Utica, um, Two Silver in New York. I, tons of amateur fights. Um, my uncle, Andre, trained me from the beginning, like he said. Um, this. I'm a great fighter. That's what they all say. How to take, get my mind right, you know. So I'm back now. Well, I'm not a reporter. But I'm a ring announcer, but I'm gonna tell you guys something. Four years ago, three years ago, I was speaking to someone and I said to them, and it wasn't Andre. I said this. I, it was, it was Tehran or it was Breland. It was somebody with a real amateur pedigree, and I said, who is? Who's, who's one of the top New York City amateurs you've ever seen? And this is the kid they named. And I asked you at the time, I asked you later, I said, what's going on? And you said, you know, he, he's off the path. Right. So, you know, listen, we had somebody come, you know, it was a good shepherd, you know, so if you're back on the path, you know, God bless you, you know. Yeah. New York boxing is, is better for you, better, better for the fact that you're back. So, yeah. welcome back. Thank right? you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. See that smile, Joel. Get Bronx on us. There you go. Help me, you look beat. He doesn't have his grill.